Uh, I had just uh, parked my car in the uh, Bank of America building parking garage on the fourth floor. So my vantage point was uh, I could see the uh, courthouse steps and uh, the front of the, the courthouse over there. And what exactly did you see? Uh, well, I heard the first gunshot. Did, didn't realize it was a gunshot at the time, and I uh, had uh, turned around and I was looking. Then I heard another shot and realized they must be gunshots. And I saw some people running out of the building, uh, and I guess what looked like uh, security, or I guess in this case it was the marshals. And then uh, kind of the whole firefight kind of opened up, and uh, it was just, you know, blast after blast of the gun. And um, they were kind of running down the steps toward, the, like, the southwest corner of the building. And uh, I saw the one uh, marshal, as, uh, as far as I know now, it's a marshal, uh, got, got shot up in the corner of the building. Uh, and another marshal ran up and covered him up. And um, I saw some uh, all other police officers started arriving at the scene and uh, coming up Las Vegas Boulevard shooting. And then uh, when the shots kind of subsided, uh, I saw some uh, some officers run up and uh, check on that marshal that was uh, apparently hit up by the corner of the building in the front there. Can you tell us approximately how many shots were fired? It, it sounded like 30 to 40 shots to me. Um, I, it was kind of surreal watching it because, uh, you know, I didn't realize what was going on at the time. Um, and uh, it was a little uh, kind of scary, but... Uh, that's what it sounded like. It sounded like it, w it was going on for at least a couple minutes. Troy, can you uh, confirm or do you think you saw the suspect in any of this? I know you said you saw people running out of the building. Um, we understand that the, from the FBI that the suspect was shot and killed. Do you think you saw that suspect out on those steps firing at these marshals? You know, I, I, I don't think... Uh I necessarily saw him or can't confirm that I saw him because uh, by the time I kind of realized what was going on, um, you know, I just kind of, I, I saw people coming out of the building shooting, um, shooting toward the street, and toward the, uh, and, and I, the, the buildings in front of that building were kind of like blocking the street, so I couldn't see who they were shooting at. So it's possible I saw them run out, but I, you know, didn't know what was going on at the time, so I, I really can't, uh, I you know, yeah, it, and yeah. things yeah, happen so fast. Him, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, obvi oh, obviously. Uh, what, what was the scene like in and around the building? Were there a lot of other people there, a lot of passerbys, people trying to enter the building before they realized what was going on? Uh, no, actually, I didn't see. Uh, once I heard the shots, the, the only people I saw were actually the, the people that were shooting. Um, so uh, it didn't look like um, there might have been one other person that I saw them uh, shuffle into the building. Um, after the shots started, but there wasn't a lot of people around. And then, uh, I mean, within two minutes, uh, there were cop cars coming from everywhere. And I also saw uh, officers come from the, uh, the, the R courthouse, the Clark County courthouse, uh, running up the street as well, um, standing in front of the, um, by the school on 4th Street, uh, stopping anybody from coming up into sure. that area. Troy, can you tell us about how long after you heard and saw that shooting, how long did it take for all of the rest of those Metro North Las Vegas FBI officers to get on that scene? Oh, they were there within, uh, some of them started arriving actually uh, before the shot stopped. Um, they were there within minutes.